Hey dolls, it's Imani and this is Imani in real life. Today, I'm going to be giving you all a tutorial on how I completed this beautiful, lovely look. And I used a superstar today, a brand new product of mine that became a favorite as soon as I used it and took it out of the box, okay? This product right here. Don't know what it is? You got an idea? You got a hint? I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. So just stay tuned. If you wanna know how I used this to get this, then just keep watching. All right, so, um, <laughs> I'm gonna stop holding out on y'all. I gotta tell y'all, cause I can't keep it in anymore. If you don't know what this is, if you don't know what this is, prepare to get hip, okay? This, this became my favorite foundation. Now that's strong, but it might be accurate, you know? I gotta get some wears out of it, but this definitely is on the list of favorites. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation and the Burberry Matte Glow Foundation, okay? I am in love with these. Do you hear me? First of all, they're cute as hell, okay? So cute. And looks can be deceiving. Cause I was like, hold on, what? what is this? I was trying to figure out how to get it out. But yeah, it's a whole, you know, full size. Now, some specs about this. I got mine from Nordstrom Rack. I got mine on sale. Like they are marking these down to $14.97. This is a $52 bottle of foundation, okay? $14.97, I could see going in there and paying Urban Decay $40 bottle and I'm paying $14.97 for it. I've done that at TJ Maxx, you know what I'm saying? For $52. And you marked it down to 15, I could buy three for the price of one and still have money for tax. You know what I'm saying? Like that was, but they only had two that I figured would match my skin tone. I really didn't know. And as you can see, these are quite different, but I know my skin tone. I know that mixing these two would come up with just about the perfect skin tone for myself. That's just how my skin is. That's just how my tone is. I have to mix things. I know it's my method. It's what works for me. So that's where we are. But this instantly became one of my favorites. So I'm really glad that you all are here exploring this with me. Um, I'm really glad that I fell in love with these. I just gotta find some place to put them on my vanity that looks good. Cause honey, these ain't going nowhere. I love them. So is there a brand that you all like that you wanna see me try on my skin tone and my skin type? Cause I'm gonna go and find it, baby. And I'm gonna save up for it if it's expensive. And I'm gonna go and get it. Huh? Anything? Just let me know. So yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Uh, my face is prepped, um, but it is not primed yet. So I did my total face routine. If you don't know what that is, go onto my channel. I will link it in the description, but I have a um, skincare routine on my channel and that shows you step-by-step step exactly what I do. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this. Um, I'm gonna prime my face with, now the way I do it, I mix my primers. I've been known to have oily skin. Um, that hasn't really been the case since I've been, you know, using the regimen that I've been using for a couple of years, but I still treat my skin as if it's oily, just, you know, just in case, cause I don't want it to go back or anything like that. And I don't know, it's just easier for me. I like a matte look, you know, all that jazz, whatever. So I use the Ulta Mattifying um, Face Primer. And I also use the Black Radiance True Complexion HD Primer. And this is a tinted primer. It's in the color 8927 Natural Nude. So I use about that much of that. I mean, it looks white, but it goes on clear, of course. Okay, and then about that much of the tinted primer by Black Radiance. I love Black Radiance, find it in 
Walmart usually, sometimes Target a lot of the times, um, local beauty supply store a lot of the time. This depends on what region you're at, what location you're in. But you definitely want to prime because that's going to smooth out your skin tone. I mean, not your skin tone, but your skin period. Give all of your makeup a nice base to sit on. And it helps your makeup to last all day as well. Then the tinted primer helps to give you a more even tone as well. So that, you know, once it's going on, you don't have as much discoloration. And of course the mattifying effect is gonna help to control all of that oil. We are fully primed. And I apply my primer just with my fingers. Um, some people apply it with a brush because they don't want like cross contamination or whatever. It's not that deep for me, so you know, whatever. Next up, I always do my eyebrows next. Um, so I'm gonna use LA Girl Pro Concealer Toffee. This is my color. This honey is my color, so I'm gonna get my spoolie. And I really wanna spray this with some alcohol. I forgot to, um, I just cleaned all my makeup brushes. I forgot to spray them down with alcohol. So actually, let me just do that now. You know, that's just to make sure that they're nice and disinfected. And as I go through, they'll have time to dry. But go ahead and smooth those out. And then that little bit of alcohol is also gonna provide just a little bit of, you know, some something, something for the hairs to grab onto and lay down. So it's not just dry. Um, without adding any product. So that's cool. And I'm gonna go in because this is mine and I don't use this on anyone else. I'm just gonna go straight in with the little brush that, you know, it comes with. If not, I would use an actual brush if you're using this on someone else, of course. But y'all should know that. If you're doing other people makeup, you should know that. But if you're just practicing on a friend, you know what I'm saying, use an actual brush. And I'm just gonna go through, um, it's been a few days, about a week and a half maybe since I last touched up my eyebrows. So I do have some hairs growing back and they getting long and noticeable and I'm looking kind of crazy. So I'm just using my concealer to clean that up. Just go right over those and also define the arch of my eyebrows. Then I'm gonna go under on the other side. This to me helps my eyebrows to stay in the same family. Because you know the age old saying, our eyebrows are not twins. Sometimes I say our eyebrows aren't even sisters. They're cousins, but to me, by going back and forth, you can ensure a more even look to your face. You can ensure more symmetry when you go back and forth. And that's with anything. Like, you know, when you're doing your wig customization, it helps to pluck, 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 pluck. You know what I'm saying? Instead of going, hey, I'm on this side and then trying to match this side. You know what I'm saying? You can get a feel for it better because you know like, okay, I was parting here. So let me part there. Then I'm going to, you know, so you, it's just all about symmetry. And with symmetry, it helps to do it the same at the same time. Like do it at the same time, if that makes sense. Like. I'm working on the bottom on this side, so I'm working on the bottom on this side. I'm gonna let that do its thing. I also like to let the concealer set a little bit because if I start to, you know, blend it too early, I'm just gonna wipe it all the way off. So what's the point in that? So then, and you notice I've lifted my eyebrow to help define that arch that, you know, that's a little pro tip, but when I'm doing this, I'm just start with it regular and just go straight over and define that top area. And again, I use this color because it most closely matches my tone, my shade during this season. 
but in the uh, summertime when I darken up a little bit and I have a little bit of, of a tan, I'm gonna make sure I'm defining this tail over here even though I don't have much hair by going over it with um, the concealer, which is a tad lighter than my color, but matches, you know, the overall look. And then when I oxidize, whatever, you gonna see. But that helps to create more of a tail appearance. Even though I don't really have hair right there, I carved out a point with my concealer. But, um, so I'm using this color now because it most closely matches the skin tone that I'm at right now. In the summertime, I use the other to uh, tone that is toast, I believe. Yeah, because this is toffee, so that has to be toast. So that's what I put over the top because that most closely blends with the overall color, overall color of my face. But I will still use this as my under highlight because it's gonna be a highlight, you know what I'm saying? So I want it to be a little bit lighter, but um, you know, it's enough to highlight, but not enough to, you know, be too white to still use on my skin tone. So that's why I do it like this. So just whatever works for you and your skin tone, if that method works that you use the same one, then do that. If you really just feel like you need to do one highlight color and then one color to carve out the top of your brows, then do that. It's all about you. Um, but just play with it, you know, on days that you really ain't got nothing to do. We in a pandemic anyway, most people ain't got nothing to do. So just play with your makeup and see how you like it. If you don't, it's okay. You ain't gotta have, you don't gotta be embarrassed. Then nobody really see you, you know? <laughs> that's how I feel about it and it's good practice, but that's the only thing that's gonna help. Practice makes perfect, honestly. I ain't get this way overnight. I had to practice this and I really don't even think, you know, I'm definitely not gonna say I'm just good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just be doing shit to my face and it makes me look nice. Whether it's quote unquote right, that's beyond me. <clears throat> I honestly could give a damn. So I'm gonna go through and do some blending. I'm gonna use one of these e.l.f. blending eye brushes. So we just gonna see. And it's so pretty, y'all. Like, oh, it's so cute. Like I said, it's Burberry. It has the pretty design on it. You know, kind of, you see it. So like engraved and then the name, Burberry. And then this is how you open it. You just pull the top off. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. So well, yeah. But I tend to have to mix my foundations anyway. So I'm trying to decide, do I wanna do that today? Oh, and this kind of has like a sparkle kind of to it, like a shimmer to it. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. So I also got this one. This is the Fresh Glow Foundation, so it's not matte. It's, you know, the dewier one. And this one is in um, the shade 60 Chestnut. I think I'm gonna mix them today. I already have my Beauty Blender dampened, but I think these are looking like they might end up being kind of thick. So I'm gonna apply with a stippling brush and then smooth it out with my blender. So yeah, I'm gonna tie my hair back. And yeah, I mean, we prepped, we primed, we ready to go. Mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix and mix. So y'all can see. Yeah, it's kind of thick. Mix, 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 mix. This one is not as thick. I did two pumps. It's not as thick. Kind of getting a little bit of both on there. Cause I do like sort of like a mixing thing. I start at the bottom cause it just makes the most sense to me.
I like it. It feels nice on my skin. It feels very light. Um, I'm gonna go in and see how it builds. And this time, I'm gonna go in with my blender. I'm gonna do two pumps of Dove um, Fresh Glow. Two pumps of the Matte Glow as well. We're gonna go in with the flat side of the Beauty Blender. Mix it a bit. And again, I like to start from the bottom. Pull your little second chin out so you can get a full coverage. I'm gonna go down my neck a little bit as well. This way you don't have no like lines of demarcation, you know? You can see the separation between your neck and your face. You don't want that. I'm definitely liking the application with the Beauty Blender better than the stippling brush. I feel like I have more control. And I'm really getting it where it needs to go. I'm not playing with it. I guess let's add some dimension back into this space. I'm using my Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. I have them in espresso and suede. So I'm gonna highlight under my eyes. And I look down and I stretch my face so that I don't create any extra wrinkles that I'm gonna have to worry about creasing. and good then I'm gonna create kind of like a triangle formation like here So I feel like in my head, by adding the um, highlighter that I'm going to have to set, it's going to kind of control that creasing. Also it helps to marry that highlight of my eyebrows to the rest of my face. Um, sometimes I will go and do this. Cause that creases and gets dark. And up here, bring that forward. <laughs> A little bit on my chin. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a whole thing. Because I don't want my laugh lines to be, you know, I don't want them to be all dark. So I'll just highlight this whole thing. This is this is honestly how I do it, y'all. This is how I do it. So I'm just gonna we'll marry that, and then I'll add some more dimension when I contour. And then here, if you suck in your cheeks and you define your contour space right in between, you know they say that your contour is like a three. In the middle of that bottom part of your three, I highlight. So this is where I would contour. I'm gonna highlight right here. And contour right here. Okay. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like, you see? Contour, contour, contour. You can see. light strokes you see how barely i pressed it and it showed up i love these by the way another one light
I'm gonna use the pointed end of my beauty blender and that's gonna be for the highlighting. And then mostly I'm gonna use this side for contouring. It has the color that I used for my total face. So that'll help it blend and not be so totally dark. But first I'm gonna go in with my highlighter. You wanna start light and then you can darken up and you know, it just helps a little bit because it's easier to put dark onto light than it is to put light onto dark. My beauty blender is damp, remember that. Blend this over onto my nose. I didn't put anything on there, remember? So you wanna make sure that everything is nice and blended out. Carry that out. Just blend, blend, blend. Other side. Honey, that is, <laughs> baby, that is a look, okay. Okay, go back in with your other side and contour. Pinching my cheeks, get in that contour in the cheek area, cheekbone. I'm gonna go in with a contouring brush from e.l.f. Sculpting face brush. And gently blend that in. Again, stretch that face out and get in those creases. you set those places that you highlighted specifically because they crease so those laugh lines get those 
the corners of the mouth. Look at that. Look at those corners. And the middle of the eyebrows and the forehead. Look at those areas. Honey, I'm in love. I'm gonna get that nose too because my nose gets shiny and not in a good, I highlight it this way, but in a an oily color. This is Coco Kisses. It's a bit of that. So we're gonna let that bake a little bit. Let's do something cute with our eyes. Looking pretty good. Okay. Now, next, so we've been baking. I'm gonna dust a little bit of this off so I don't look so cakey. I really don't look cakey, but in some spaces, I can see where there's a little bit of buildup. So I am gonna brush a little bit off with this Total Face brush. This is actually probably the least dense brush that I own. Yeah, it is, it is, so. And it's still got some weight on it. So we're just gonna brush away any excess that might be living on the surface of this beautiful beat. Girl, I look good. You can't tell me shit. Oh, down here, I never did blend that out. So let me do that. Cause this does look a little crazy. So going back in, no extra product. I never put any product on this brush actually. I didn't do that. So no product on this. We just use this to straight up blend and straight up blend contour. So again, this is the e.l.f. Sculpting Face Brush. Now it's time for blush. Y'all, I love a good blush. I really do. I really, really, really do. I got this old ass elf blush palette. I don't even think you can call this raspberry. This is more like, I don't know, but it's broken <laughs> for one i've had this for years okay but it's so pretty let me see if i can like swatch it for you it's so pretty and i think this up against what that's gonna really tie it together so that's what i'm gonna do today i'm trying to decide which brush brush i want to use and i'm thinking i'm gonna use an angled one this one's by wet and wild so we're gonna go gonna tap that off because this is pigmented honey 
I suck and smile a little bit, like, you know. <laughs> See the difference? And I like a good blush, so I'm a. I, I make sure it's on. Oh, girl! Oh, that's so pretty on camera. I see what people are you talking about now. Just a touch. I needed more like on the apples. Girl, that is so pretty. Okay, keep going, okay. You really can't, you really can't tell me shit now. Now I'm gonna go on with a little bit of highlighter. This is from Urban Decay O as well. It's um, an eyeshadow. I use it as a highlighter because it's just so shimmery. But it's called Midnight Cowboy. So I'm gonna go in in this inner corner. Just hold my eyebrows so I don't move any color anywhere. Do you see that? like a straight up pinkish white it's so cute today is the day ladies today is the day i use my highlighting match stick don't know what i'm doing oh okay i see what you're getting at I see where you're going with this. And looking at this, I really don't need a brush. Okay. And it's perfect for this look. Okay, <laughs> let me shut up. Okay, what's next? Oh, I like this. I think I'm gonna use this MAC uh, liner in Current. It's like a purple Current. Line my lips with that. Now I'm just gonna dry them just a little bit so that it can adhere. Um, but first, let me put on some setting spray. I haven't done that yet. Should before something decides it wanna start creasing. Got me messed up. And that's uh setting spray is up all night makeup setting spray. It's mattifying by Coop and Daisy. I got that from like a Marshalls or something like that. TJ Maxx, maybe one of them type of stores. Again, on sale. Don't play yourself. I'm also going to go in with this e.l.f. Um, I don't even know what this is called, to be honest but it's like a lip color. Um, I know the color is praline though, and this color is pretty hard to find, honestly. So I lucked up, and I think when I bought it, I bought two. So 
do that and then I'm going to ombre it out mixing it like this and that's really all I do to get my ombre lip <music> And I like that because it gives it kind of more of a poutier look when it's like really, really light and just, you know, you're puckering it. Slight line on the bottom. Slight. But really ombre it so that it kind of looks like the bulk of my lip is right here instead of being this wide. You know what I'm saying? It puckers my lips. Okay? So that is my go-to ombre look. But because I have this brownish, bluish look going on that I'm, oh baby, I'm loving. I'm gonna add this NYX lingerie in Teddy to Mostly to the outside middle. So I don't want to go all the way to the edge to cover up that completely. And I'm not really touching the inside at all. But right in the middle of where those two colors meet. together mix them and smudge them that is what the fuck is that um i'm gonna go back in with my cinnamon um matchstick highlighter above that lip and on the high points of that little bridge you see yeah right there on those two lines you see exactly what i'm talking about that little yeah i think that i have definitely achieved perfection for this look i am satisfied i'm in love with this look you really can't tell me nothing these just made it to like the top of my list of some of my favorite foundations okay easily easily they are so easy to apply um they go on smooth they're buildable it feels lightweight. I don't feel like I have on a face full of makeup, even though I clearly do. Yeah, like, I love this. I'm in love with this, you guys. I love this look. It matches my tone. I made the right call by mixing it um, and also pulling it down my neck. But yeah, that is a wrap for this video. I thank you all for watching and coming along with me on this journey to see how I completed this look. Um, I love this product and I hope you all love it as much as I do. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just my skin, I don't know. Um, but yeah, like, thank you. And I will see you all in the next video. Uh, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any tutorials that you want me to do, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have anything that you want to see on this channel, put it in the comment section so that I know and I will be checking my comments. So make sure that you let me know what you want to see on this channel. Um, so yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next video because I done ran out of stuff to say. I love y'all. I really love y'all. Thank you for rocking with me. This has been Imani with Imani in Real Life. I'm gonna see you next time. Love you, doll.